Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World. Well, we get down and dirty and we just talk about everybody. <laughs> we talk about everybody, but mostly celebrities on the show. Mostly celebrities. And tonight, we're going to be following Portia and Father Time. They are in Paris and they're living it up, living up. Oh, yeah. It's Friday night. Oh, it ain't Friday night. Yeah, okay, okay. But happy birthday, Portia, from the fam over here at Del Chanel's 48th World. Wishing you all happiness and success and you looking marvelous okay and you are definitely dressing scandalous in those little short dresses dresses you are wearing over there in the parisian world yes portia and pj are over there in, in paris and i don't know why the hell pj is there she shouldn't even really be there it's not something she's gonna even remember remotely I mean, it's the time to take a child a place where they can enjoy it and take all the ambiance in. She would have been better fitted going to Paris, France. I guess that's where you are, girl. Um, in her middle high school years, okay? Because she can have a fun appreciation to the culture and all of that. But I don't know. Maybe it was your week or your weekend to keep baby girl PJ and it wasn't Dennis. But I would have thought you would have traded that in and let him keep her while you were celebrating over there in Paris, France. Okay. That would have been a dutiful thing. But I don't know, Portia, because you don't make sense half the time. But girl, you were beautiful. Again, happy 41st birthday. Okay. You should be thanking the Lord. Okay, the child had safe travels. You were able to see another day. You have good health. You have good family. You have good friends. And you have a good life. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I saw Phaedra under your comments too. I said, bye. She went to Dubai. Then you went to Dubai. Nene went to Paris. Now you in Paris. Okay. What are y'all trying to do? Show up, show out, and prove. <laughs> Is that what we're doing, girl? Is that what we're doing? But I see you. I see you. And I salute you. I am so glad that Father Time thought enough of you to take you to Paris for your birthday. And I hope, I pray, I wish it was on his dime, okay? Because if I find out that you paid for that trip, ooh, girl. Woohoohoo! The dragon will commence once again. But hey, like I said, when you're doing things proper and in order, I have to salute you. And you definitely were, except for the extension of PJ being along with you in the trip. Because we know over this out there still, and it's running rapid in Europe. Okay, girl, it's running rapid in Europe. And I don't see any mask or anything on you far as protective gear. So I'm going to ease up off of that just for the moment because I'm not going to spoil your birthday. But it's better to stay cautious, very cautious, than just throw things to the caution of the wind. Uh, because, ooh. You don't want it, Porsche. I'm telling you, you do not want the Ovid girl. And poor PJ shouldn't you shouldn't even have put that on her. Okay? Or you should have stayed in the States for your birthday, okay? Or better yet, I see y'all took the white one. Why y'all didn't take the black one? The help? The helpmates uh to keep you the nannies? I saw the white one, but I didn't see the uh, the black one that uh he have when they're studying in school. So I'm like, shoot. That could have been a trip that your mama could have took with you. And she could have kept PJ while you were off frolicking in the streets, in the uh, shopping malls or the boutiques 
or whatever they have down there for your shopping experience. And, you know, you could have been going out and, you know, Mama Diane could have been like in tow with y'all, but, you know, staying out the limelight, okay? Because she don't have a man that's rich, that's a millionaire or billionaire, okay? We're still looking for Larry. But Larry got more sense than all of y'all because he knows how to stay incognito. But when you want to be seen, you want to be shown, you want to be flossing, uh, that's not his style, okay? But uh, I don't know. Where's your mama, Porsche? Is she at home? Because she should have kept PJ for you. But I'm not going to dwell on it any any of that anymore but i'm so glad you got into uh father times uh what do you call it um well pocketbook or wallet or a uh, briefcase wherever he keeps the money girl oh i hope he did pay for it okay and so i'm, I'm gonna send some face tunes on baby pj too see y'all shouldn't have got me into this face tune where i recognize stuff just off the bat but of course you need to stop everybody's beautiful in their own little way okay some of us have that aesthetically pleasing to the eye or what social media or the social scene says you're supposed to look like or whatever but, you know, nobody's really ugly, Portia. So, I don't know why you got to always dress up uh, Father Time's face. You got to touch up PJ's face. You got to mess with your face and your stomach area. I mean, girl, just love people for who they are and how they are. There's no sense of, uh, you know, freshening or touching up photos. You didn't have it way back when. Okay. You had to get whatever the Polaroid or the instant camera took. It's just what it took. Okay. That's you. All right. But, um, yeah, Portia is going around in Paris, France for her birthday. Father Time got on some new digs, too. I ain't never seen this blue outfit he's had on. And, um, they're partying and he trying to jump. And I'm like, don't, don't be jumping too much, uh, uh Father Time. You know, it's not a good look. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Because you're older than what you're portraying yourself to be. Portia's younger. She can hang with that kind of stuff. She can drink all day long like a drunk sailor. And it probably won't affect her. But we do know you're an age. You need to act your age. God, we don't want you to be sore and carrying on. And <clears throat> have to have a back brace here and there. <clears throat> uh, somebody have to bring you a scooter or a wheelchair. <coughs> the water went down the wrong way, y'all. Because all this talking, it tends to make you dry in the mouth, okay? But I got a little fresh here. I got a little spring water in me now. So I guess we can talk a little bit more, okay? But yes, 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 yes. Uh, if Simon did pay for that trip, then God bless Simon. He did the right thing. If you're going to be his wife soon or, I don't know, glorified girlfriend forever in a time or ever in a day, so be it. Just as long as it came out of his bank account. Okay. Now we know Portia is back in her sleek looking clothes. We're showing more of her assets than need to be shown. But that's just who Portia is. I guess we might will accept it because she's never going to change uh, to fit our um, likes or dislikes. Uh, she's going to do her. But when it comes to, I notice, I notice this now. When Portia goes into a more matriarch type where she wants to be presentable, she want to be um, viewed as royalty, she dresses a pro <laughs> Excuse me. She dresses appropriate. A lot more is covered than a lot more that is showing. But when she's out and she wants to be, you know, uh, her real, real self, she goes into these skimpy type clothes that are not necessarily appropriate for a queen type of stance. Now, I'm like, Portia, are you going to be able to fit into this world that you're creating for yourself? You're saying you want to be a queen, this, that, and the third. And you want all the things that a queen should have, that the king should provide for her. But I'm like, uh, girl, it's one of those things supposed to be, you're supposed to be dressing appropriate. Should you be getting into that type of wardrobe mentality? So you want to embarrass uh, Father Time when he's out with his constituents, which we haven't seen any co-workers, constituents, uh, no, uh, what do you call it, uh, fellow 
a billionaire, a millionaire he's meeting and greeting with. We, we see none of that. Uh, but we see him posting here and there of a lot of nonsense shit. But okay. It is what it is. It's his platform. He could do whatever he want to do. Just like I can do whatever I want to do over here on my platform. But, you know, like I said, just as long as you're happy. A birthday is every day. You, you know, you're allowed to wake up by the generous grace and mercy of the Lord. So, you know, live it to the fullest and, and be more... Uh, be more than what you were the day before if you didn't do or slay something that you wanted to uh, have accomplished in that particular day. Pick up from where you left off and when the day comes in again, if you're um, lucky to see it or blessed to see it, work back on it. Okay, pick up from where you left off and I'm sure you'll reach your goal. But yes, that was Portia and Simon and baby girl PJ and the... Um, care or the help i don't know i guess i'm hoping Lauren, who's taking these pictures is what i be trying to figure out it's lauren the babysitter as well as the uh stylist as well as the photographer uh what, what she got so many hats what's wrong with you girl i ain't talking about your sister i'm talking about um your assistant was she the one taking all these pictures and stuff come like you need to be paying her some top dollar Okay, for all she had to run around take Simon pictures when he wanna post on his page. Then she got to come and you know uh, pick up where you left off with uh, photography. I mean, y'all running her ragged. Okay, y'all are simply running her ragged. I think she need to be paid for uh, expe expeditiously as well as full compensation okay is she gonna have one of them days where i don't know if y'all just up there for the week or the weekend but is she gonna have a day where to be free of her not able and willing to take pictures of y'all is she gonna have a day off is what i'm saying but yeah um that's all i got for this particular video guys hope y'all like it love it and want to have more but uh yes 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 of course you wore that dress before i remember seeing that black dress somewhere in the states can't remember where but if you have to recycle clothes i understand we all do that the uh, normal regular everyday people we do that but when you're a billionaire millionaire i would just assumed a little bit more where well, you wouldn't wear the outfit more than once or twice okay but that's just you know just my 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 hang up okay that's how i view uh the rich and famous you know because candy said she was trying to get some uh hand-me-down clothes that she call herself gently wearing where she said some of them she may just wear one time and just do disregard the rest you know i'm like wait a minute can did you say you were frugal you said you don't spend money like that so i'm kind of confused girl which one is it you're frugal or you not or you're frugal with certain things and not with other things <sighs> make it make sense okay and that's my other channel if y'all want to go partake of just a lot of celebrities just a lot of different things going on on that channel please do so i would love to have you over there as well as over here and i'd love to have you over there with me and my daughter cutting up as well all right and all of um uh, what do you call it all the links to the different uh, platforms are listed in the community tab or under the comment section. Somewhere else. You look for it, okay? If you're not, get in the post and let me know. And I'll try to put it back out there for you all. Because we want y'all to laugh every day. Every day you should be laughing about something. Because it builds self-esteem. It builds character. And it helps with your body functioning. Yes, it, it releases endorphins, which are the good things, okay? Where, you know, you're breathing healthy. You're looking healthy. You're being healthy. And all of that kind of stuff. La laughter is good for the soul, okay? Especially when it comes from the good. And you just really be just laughing your behind off oh, compliments of me of course <laughs> but y'all like it love it gotta have more don't forget to subscribe like share comment all right and i will see y'all next video bye bye